guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing one of my absolute favorite videos to film on here and that is a testing new at the drugstore makeup launch. These are the new liquid lipsticks shine loud lip formula from NYX Cosmetics and I've heard incredible things about these so far on Instagram. I've also heard that they're really big on TikTok at the moment and I have four shades that we are going to test out, do some swatches, do a demo, see how they perform against the claims and then do a wear test as well. So if you are interested in seeing my thoughts on the new NYX Shine Loud Liquid Lips, then just keep on watching. So I've pulled up the product on the NYXcosmetics.ca website. I will link the products probably from the NYX link, the Shoppers Drug Mart link, and maybe Ulta or something. I personally purchased mine from NYXcosmetics.ca directly because they weren't yet available at Shoppers. They are available online as I'm filming this and I've been told that they won't be in store at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada for the next two weeks or so is when they'll be hitting stores but you can get them on nyxcosmetics.ca right now if you want them although they are sold out of some shades so this is the new shine loud high shine lip color formulation they retail for $15 Canadian on the nyxcosmetics.ca website which is what I paid for them pretty pricey for the drugstore I usually like to spend around like 10 to 12 dollars I feel like is reasonable for a drugstore lip product 15 is a little bit higher but NYX is a little bit of a higher price point at the drugstore the product comes in 12 different shades there's a bunch of nudes and neutrals and then some more bright pink bright red meet our first ultra pigmented high shine lip color with up to 16 hour no transfer wear so we will be testing that claim not 16 hours but I'll probably wear it for the next like eight or so and let you know how I like it. Lightweight and comfy on the lips, this vegan formula delivers one swipe loud color with an ultra glassy non-sticky shine finish. Easy two-step technology, simply pair the high pigment base coat infused with lip loving oils with the ultra reflective non-sticky top coat for the loudest shine that you've ever seen. Up to 16 hour wear, no budge, no bleed, no fade. You can kiss, drink, hair flip, and even wear it under your or mask which I think is a very cool relevant claim for right now so we will definitely be testing that as well so it says to apply the high pigment base coat first let it dry for about 90 seconds and then go in with step two apply the ultra glassy top coat the result ultra shiny and pigmented lips that'll last up to 16 hours I'm assuming that you have to use both I don't know if the gloss is what locks in the 16 hour wear that's what this phrasing makes it seem like um, so it is a two-step system and they recommend that you use both steps together. Those are all of the claims, 16 hour wear, budge proof, super glossy and pigmented, and they retail for $15. So before we go in and do the swatches, I do just have a little bit of lip liner on and a clear gloss. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that so that we are starting on a blank canvas. I think I'm going to start with the darkest shade first. Um, just so I can get it out of the way because this one isn't really my style but I wanted to get one kind of outside of my comfort zone like these three are very much wearable colors that I would wear every day but this one's a little outside of my comfort zone. Ooh, this shade's definitely more like burgundy than it is brown which I actually like. That is how it looks with one dip of product and I am gonna go and apply a little bit more on the top lip because it's a little patchy but that is how it looks with one layer. Now I'm going to wait 90 seconds as the instructions say for this to dry down before I go in with the clear gloss coat. I will say the formula is incredibly sticky. I would certainly not want to wear this formulation on its own. I do like the consistency of the liquid lip. It is a thinner, more fluid liquid lip formula, which is typically the type of formulation that's going to last longer on the lips. So makes sense to me that it's a thinner fluid consistency rather than like a thicker mousse cream consistency and in terms of the color I do really like it but I think that it's much more burgundy and cranberry in person or at least on my lips I think it's well it is um I don't know how well you can tell on camera but this is certainly more of like a true brown shade on the packaging whereas on my lips it looks very burgundy and cranberry I expected it to be like a true brown 
but it is more of a classic burgundy. All right, so it's been about 90 seconds, so I'm going to go in with the clear gloss side. So funny, the applicator is almost like a nail polish brush, and it feels kind of like nail polish going on the lips, like a clear top coat of nail polish. I really like how it feels with the gloss on the lips, much more comfortable, totally gets rid of the sticky residue. I wonder if that stickiness and that sticky feeling will come back once the gloss wears away, because I'm assuming the gloss won't stay this shiny the whole time. It's almost like comically shiny. It's so glassy shiny which i like and this is how the shade never basic looks on the lips with both steps applied i'm gonna go in with the second darkest lip shade next which is the ambition statement color this is like your warm almost like a terracotta nude it has a lot of orange in it which i don't love in a lip color for me personally so let's go ahead and see how this looks this one is very very similar to the packaging which is good so maybe it was just that last one that differed a lot from the color on the inside or maybe it's true for more of like the vibrant darker shades but the lighter shades are more true to the packaging we will see as we continue but I actually like that shade a little bit more than I thought I would um, it's definitely not one that I would reach for very much but it's exactly how it looks in the packaging a super warm toned more terracotta nude so I'm gonna let this dry down just 30 more seconds and then we will go in with the shine coat but I'm kind of liking how it looks without, but in order to get rid of that stickiness, you do have to go in with the gloss on top. Here we have both steps of Ambition Statement. Very pretty terracotta nude. It definitely doesn't go with this eye look, and I'm not a huge warm toned person in general, but I do like this shade a lot. Now I'm gonna try out this super, super nude shade called Goal Crusher. I probably won't like this on myself, maybe with the gloss added, but it's a very pale, more warm leaning nude. Um, if I do a super pale nude, I'd rather it be more cool leaning on me personally, because I am so fair, but let's go ahead and see how this looks. Maybe it will be a little bit darker than the outer packaging. Here is how Goal Crusher is looking before we go in with the top shine coat. Um, I would say that it's pretty on par with the outer packaging. I would say that the outer packaging maybe is a little bit more warm with orange in it, whereas this is slightly more neutral. Again, very, very sticky without the top coat. You can tell that this isn't designed to be worn without the top coat. I wonder how it would work with a different gloss. I won't be trying that today, but I can imagine you could use any type of clear gloss but I'm not 100% sure. And here's how the shade Goal Crusher looks with both steps added. I don't love this shade on me personally, and I've noticed that it is a touch patchier than the other shades. Perhaps I should have built it up a little bit more. It is like a super, super pale nude, so it makes sense that you might need to build it up the opacity to get full pigment. Before we go in with our final lip shade, I am just going to add a little bit of MAC Prep and Prime for the lips just to restore a little bit of hydration because they're feeling very extra dry and chapped and a little bit like burning from all the rubbing. So I just want to rehydrate before we go in with the one that we're gonna do a wear test on. My lips are feeling so much better after that added prep and prime. So now we are ready to go in with our final lip color, which I hope is going to be what I think it is, um, like a nice cool toned pinky nude, which is my favorite type of shade to wear. This is the color Matchmaker. I feel like it's pulling a little more warm tone on camera than it is in person. In person, it looks a little more neutral cool. There aren't a lot of cool shades in the line. Um, in general, a lot of them are super warm. I think this one is Going to be my favorite of the bunch so let's go ahead and try it on here's how the shade magic maker looks before going in with the clear gloss you can probably tell that the shade that it comes up on my lips is a lot darker and also more neutral than the packaging appears on camera looking in person it's a little bit of a closer match this one is a little more neutral cool than it's appearing on camera but regardless the shade that appears on the lips is definitely much deeper um, than how it appears in the tube here. I can't get over this. I literally feel like I'm applying a clear nail polish topper on my lips. <laughs> and lastly, here is how the shade Magic Maker looks on the lips with both 
uh, steps added. As I said before, I went in with the top coat layer. This is definitely a darker on the lips than it appears in the tube, but even despite that, this is definitely my favorite shade on me personally. I just like that it's a little more neutral. It's definitely on the warmer side versus the cool tone, which is what I expected, but I still like this shade. It's definitely my favorite. Again, that is do 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 magic maker and before we get into the wear test part of this video i did just want to summarize my thoughts on these four before we get into that so the first color that we tried the darkest of the bunch again is called never basic this one is definitely more of a burgundy cranberry color on the lips very very pretty color probably my second favorite shade that we tried today next in the middle we tried out the lighter two nude shades called goal crusher and ambition statement these are the only two that really showed up super true to the packaging so if you're interested in getting these two you can definitely go based off what you see on the um, outer packaging here didn't love either of these shades I think they're just a little bit too warm for me and I will probably pass these on to a friend and then lastly magic maker is definitely darker than you see in the packaging as well and definitely a little bit more neutral rather than like warm toned as it shows up on the camera here I did start filming this rather late in the day so it is currently 508 at night uh, I will probably be up till around 12 or so so we can do about a seven six to seven hour wear test which obviously isn't the ideal 16 hours but I will be eating a meal in that time and really I just want a lip product to last around that six hour mark I am interested to see how this wears with the mask because it does have that glossy finish so I don't know if at least the gloss consistency would transfer I imagine that it would so I'll try wearing a mask I'll try eating all the stuff um, and I will update you guys in the next seven or so hours and now checking in for my final update it is currently 1207 so i got a full seven hour wear test um which is really good i'm gonna talk at a low whispering volume because my mom shares a well with me and she has been sleeping for a few hours now ignore the rest of my makeup by the way i took off my lashes my mascara is transferred i'm tired and i'm gonna go wash it off but the lip product um, it's worn pretty well for seven hours considering I did eat dinner and I haven't touched it up at all. You can definitely tell that the color is still fully there. It hasn't bled. The sides of my mouth are just super dry and cracky. So that's what you see there. Just because I'm curious, I am going to put a little bit of the clear um, gloss on top to see how well that like freshens up the lip to see if that's something easy you could do because you don't need a mirror to reapply the clear coat. The added gloss on there really does make it look a lot better so that's another option as well if you just want to touch up throughout the day without having to look in a mirror and be precise. The like gloss portion definitely did transfer under the mask but the actual color didn't transfer so if you want just like the liquid lip portion to stay on it will do so when you're wearing a mask and then you can reapply the gloss as I did here once you take off your mask if that is the desired look that you want the gloss did wear off pretty quickly I would say within the first hour and a half I would say that the shine was gone and it looked like a normal liquid lip does so keep that in mind you might want to reapply you can probably reapply with any gloss I definitely do think that these are worth it if you want a nice long wearing lip color if you like a liquid lip formula and you like an added gloss because these are definitely made to be worn as a gloss with the gloss topper if you don't do the gloss topper it's not a comfortable product so you need to be prepared to wear it as a gloss definitely let me know what your favorite one is if there's any shades that have caught your eye will you be purchasing this will you be passing on this are you over liquid lips um are we here for just more sheer stuff more glosses let me know what you guys think down below with all that said i hope that you guys have or had an absolutely awesome day and thank you so so much for watching bye